Boston Garden was home to many great Celtic championship teams. But the 1985-86 Celtics, led by three-time MVP Larry Bird, were truly something special. They posted a franchise-best 67-15 and 15 record that season, which earned them a meeting with Michael Jordan and the Bulls in the first round of the playoffs. Coming off a foot injury in only his second year in the NBA, Jordan was faced with an interesting problem. The question is, can one man beat the Lakers, or do you need a more diversified attack today? Well, we're playing the Boston Celtics, Pat, but uh, I think it's going to be more of a five-man game, and uh, we really have to play a complete basketball game. I, I don't think one man can beat the Boston Celtics. It's hard to imagine that six weeks ago you were sitting on the bench. Yeah, it's, it, it is. It's very hard for me to imagine. I'm very happy I'm, I'm playing now, and I'm very happy that I can contribute to the team. All right, thank you. Good luck today. You don't have to remind me again that you are playing the Boston Celtics. Air Jordan's getting ready to take off. The problem is the runway is in Boston. When Michael would get in those zones, he'd want the ball more than anything else. Everyone else would want him to have the ball. His teammates took note of his focus in the locker room before the game and sensed he was intent on doing something big, maybe even the impossible, defeating the mighty Celtics in Boston Garden all by himself. Going baseline, Michael Jordan, the basket good and a foul. Fantastic quickness going to the baseline. That was a pickpocket move if there ever was one. But Larry Bird's Celtics presented an imposing obstacle indeed. United by Bird's vision, they were the consummate passing team. Bill Walton had joined the Celtics that year and blended flawlessly with their chemistry in his role as sixth man. Bird from Walton. On the other hand, the Celtics fans had never really seen an individual talent like Michael Jordan. And on April 20th, 1986, he was the center of their attention, even as the Celtics center, Robert Parrish, scored for their team. Parrish gets free. And so the battle waged, with Jordan evoking hushed cries of anguish, mixed with amazement from the savvy fans, while the Celtics' gritty play inspired their cheers. Who wants it? Taking the tempo away from the Celtics, trying to Michael Jordan right now. What a great shot, and a basket and a foul. You talk about Bird, sheer determination. At certain points of a game, Michael Jordan has those same qualities. The Celtics could only shake their heads as they found themselves unable to shake the Jordan-led Bulls. Jordan backs it in, and Jordan with 40 points. He was in that zone of everything was going. He was making one shot better than the next. Unintimidated, even by Larry Legend, Jordan let it all hang out, displaying much more than mere hang time. He revealed a complete all-around game as game two of this first-round series emerged as a classic in the making, with Jordan performing his unparalleled moves to the basket and Boston responding in tried-and-true Celtics fashion. Aims to pick Clock running down, three seconds, three-point shot, no good. And a foul, late sweep. A foul against Kevin McHale has been called by Middleton. With no time showing on the clock. Kevin McHale can't believe it. In one of the first tests under pressure of his career, Michael Jordan showed all the poise of a veteran as he calmly stepped to the line and sank crucial free throws. He can tie it up here and send the game in overtime. No time remaining. And this is pressure. Overtime in game two of our best of five first round NBA playoff. And the Chicago Bulls are trying to do what only the Portland Trailblazers have done so far this year, beat the Celtics in Boston. Long range, Jordan hits it. 56 for Jordan. And that ties the Chicago Bulls all-time leader, Bob Love. Jordan goes up with a shot and hits it, and has 61 points to tie Elgin Baylor's all-time single-game playoff record that he established against these Celtics. Jordan oh. ties the game. Oh, boy. 63 points, and you're looking at an all-time record. Oh, boy. Michael Jordan. After that, it took him from a star to a superstar to eventually the biggest superstar in basketball history. In the end, the Celtics prevailed, 
and they would go on to win the series in three games. But from that day forward, the history of Boston Garden would include not only the many championships of Celtic teams past, but also the remarkable playoff performance of a young Chicago Bull named Michael Jordan.